And I was impressed with this young man. He was young then, and he's still young, young at heart and spirit. And I was impressed with him. He was elected, and he will go down in history as being one of the most accomplished governors ever in the history of this great state. During, during his tenure as governor, he focused on schools, improving education. He had one of the most dynamic school reform initiatives anywhere in this great nation. He also gave leadership to jobs conference, and you'd have to be in my generation to understand how significant the jobs conference was here in Memphis. Many people believe that through his initiative, Memphis embraced change and move forward economically, socially, through the leadership of this former governor. He didn't stop there. He went on to higher education where he served with distinction as president of the University of Tennessee uh, system. I can go on and on and tell you about Lamar Alexander. I think all of you know he's a Vanderbilt uh, Law School graduate. NYU. Vanderbilt undergrad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, undergrad. Yes, undergrad. <laughs> undergrad. Uh, but he just didn't graduate. He's a Phi Beta Kappa. I love that. Uh, he just was, uh, I'll let you know, he, he was pretty smart uh, when he was at that great institution. Um, Lamar Alexander is a good example of leadership in the United States Senate. And I'm going to tell you what I really mean about that. I saw you the other night and you had to take a vote, and I happen to concur with that vote. I mean, this, this crisis that we are in today, ladies and gentlemen, is not just a domestic crisis, it is a global crisis. And I want to thank the Senator, and I don't know where, where, how all of you, where you stand on that issue, but that so-called bailout or rescue package was really vital to this economy getting back on, on, on its foot. And I want to thank the Senator for having the courage uh, to vote affirmatively on that particular endeavor. Ladies and gentlemen, I could go on and on and on. I'm pleased that you're here. And I want you to know that um, this public service deserves the support of all great American thinkers, all great Tennesseans who want to see this state advance and this nation. And I bring to you now, uh, running for his second term, uh, the distinguished United States Senator from the great state of Tennessee, and my friend, my friend for over two decades, uh, Lamar Alexander. Let's give him a warm, mental <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Harrington. Well, it's over three and a half decades. <laughs> He's just trying to act young, is what he's trying to do. I'm so glad you're here today, and Dr. Harrington, Willie, my friend, thank you for doing this.